Hello, everyone, and welcome to the tavern. I'm the Dapper Bard, and here we're going to talk about my uh, channel a little bit. Do a little 2023 in review. Let's get started. So 2023 was kind of a crazy year for my channel. I began the year not even sure if I wanted to continue doing YouTube videos. And now that it's the end of the year, I'm so glad I stuck with it. Not just because of all the amazing mech warriors who have signed on because of my Battletech series, but also because I really found that I enjoy making videos. I love doing research on niche subjects and Battletech fit that perfectly. And the fact that people enjoy the videos makes it all worthwhile. But before we get too deep into the Battletech videos, let's kind of talk about some of the minor videos I did this year. There's always a couple of different things where I do only a handful of videos in that subject. And I want to kind of break down a few of these real quick as to whether or not I'll even continue doing them next year. First is my manga reviews, which I only did one. I honestly thought I did more than one, but apparently I only did one. And it got okay viewership, but for the most part, I just don't see me reviewing manga anymore. Maybe if I do, it'll be Gundam manga or maybe some of those weird old Battletech comics. But I don't really have any desire right now to explore manga on a greater scale. And if no one's really going to come to watch the videos, it doesn't really seem like it's worth my efforts when I could put those efforts into videos that people really like, such as the aforementioned Battletech videos. The second thing I only did a little bit about was Gundam. We're not counting Witch for Mercury, because that's not really Gundam. But what I did do was a review of Kukuru's Dwan's Island, and that video got super delayed, which is because of everything else I was dealing with, which annoys me because it should have been a last year video, not a this year video. In addition to that, the Gundam Build Metaverse video was a lot of fun because I got to make fun of the show with my brother. And yeah, I think a lot of people seem to have really enjoyed that video. And I only did one Gundam history this year, which is unfortunate. I would like to do more of those, to be honest. I need to finish up the Gundam 00 history videos for sure. And I'd like to go and do more beyond that. It's just a matter of finding the time and the subjects that I want to cover. Lastly, in my minor videos, I had five kind of TV movie reviews with three horror movie reviews, One Piece, and the Super Mario Brothers movie. All of these get pretty good viewership, and I enjoy doing these because they're really quick videos, and I'm watching a bunch of movies and TV and what have you anyway, so I may as well do a video on it at the same time. I'm not sure how often this will really happen, but it will be something that happens now and then. If you have a series or something you want me to cover, of course, you know, throw it in the comments here or there, and I will try to get to it because I do want to kind of expand my reviews of movies or giant robot related media as best I can. Now, there are two older series that I want to talk about real quick. The first, of course, are my Gumpla reviews. Mission Gumpla has been generally successful on this channel. And the only thing that prevented me from doing more reviews this year is that I wasn't building as much this year. I got a lot of building done early in the year, and then there's like a long gap, and then a lot of building near the end of the year, which is why there'll be some new videos in 2024, but to keep those consistent means I need to take a weekend every now and then and just build a kit. For some reason, my weekends just keep evaporating on me, and I have no idea how. The second older series I made a bunch of videos of this year was Tavern Tales. This is one of my favorite ongoing series. Unfortunately, it really doesn't get the views I wanted it to get. This was designed as a way of me telling people about different forms of mythology. It was kind of trying to tie into tabletop stuff, but yeah, it never really took off. I have other ideas to kind of explore my love of mythology that might not involve YouTube, but for now, I'm not certain if I'll be returning to the series or not, unless suddenly people are really, really demanding it. Now let's get into the big three. 
there are three series that had the most videos this year. At 12 videos, it is Battletech Faction Briefings, the videos that brought in my biggest audience and constantly get viewership. And I love making, even though sometimes they can get a little annoying when the lore is either contradictory or non-existent. However, I try my best to make these videos as best I can. The videos themselves have evolved throughout this year because it was just kind of something I did to keep my sanity while dealing with Witch from Mercury. Being a lover of the lore and watching a lot of other people's videos online, I decided to kind of do faction briefings, and I was surprised at how many people caught on to faction briefings and enjoy faction briefings. And I thank you so much. You know, every video, I always thank all the new mech warriors who've subscribed, and I really do mean it. You subscribing to my channel, the comments, the positivity has really made running this channel a lot more fun than what it was earlier in the year and definitely in 2022. My hope is to get two videos in this series out per month unless I have some other gimmick going on or I'm doing a large video and trust me I have some large ones planned. Wolf's Dragoons, McCarran's Armored Cavalry, and maybe even the Northwind Highlanders are all potential video subjects and each one of those factions has so many sub-factions that they're just large tasks to take on. But I'm going to try to get them done, especially the Wolf's Dragoons, because that means I can cover my favorite faction, Snord's Irregulars. The second most videos on a single subject is my Watsi Hasbro videos, with 13 videos, one more than my Battletech series. These videos are something that came up kind of at the end of 2022 when the whole OGL debacle was going on and I decided to step into the fray and I have no regrets about that. Some of the videos aren't as popular as other videos. Obviously a lot of people aren't super interested in financial reports but I still want it out there to kind of catalog where things are going with Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast and I think that had a really good payoff with the Hasbro job loss video that I did recently. The one thing I have learned while doing these videos is that they can get very dry. It's it's very much numbers, it's very much just facts, and a little bit of opinion, especially on the half-elf one where I really got worked up. Going forward, I would like more of these videos to have a guest to discuss it. Whether that guest is someone I play a tabletop with, whether that guest is another YouTuber, or what have you, I'm very much thinking that that would really improve these videos and help them be more interesting to the average person that might not care about a financial report, but definitely wants to know what's going on with Dungeons and Dragons or Magic the Gathering. And I think I need to start going into other game companies that have their own crises now and then, like Games Workshop or Paizo. Finally, the series of videos that was the most with 15 which from mercury yep 15 videos dedicated to this show excluding the videos from last year so that's quite a bit of me focusing on an anime that is hot garbage even now i still get questions at cons occasionally or fairweather friends who go why don't you like the show and I point to my YouTube channel and go, I have hours, hours of show explaining why I don't like this. And try to just kind of abridge it or just tell them straight up, watch my reviews because I'm done talking about Witch for Mercury. I really do mean that. I don't want to do anything else connected to this series ever again. I will be much happier if I focus on the Gundam series that are good or the bad ones that are fun to make fun of and don't feel like I'm watching some ESG-inspired piece of garbage. As for the future of the channel, there's a lot of things I can't predict, because in 2022, I had no idea I was going to do Battletech videos. So there probably will be some new series I will experiment with, because I'm always coming up with new ideas or things I want to explore. That being said, there will be more Battletech videos, like I said earlier, 
I would like to do at least 18 videos, ideally more than that, because there's so many factions and I just love the Battletech universe. I will be doing more Gumpla, and I'll try to find one weekend a month where I can just throw on a movie, build a Gumpla, and relax. Because one, I need that in my life. And two, as long as I'm building, I can do new reviews. So hopefully we can get a few more Gumpla reviews throughout the year. Plus, my pile of boxes is getting a little unwieldy, and I really need to clear it out. I am going to keep doing the WotC and Hasbro stuff, as I just mentioned not too long ago. And I really think that covering tabletop news in an interesting and discussion-based way is really important for those of us who play tabletop and either want to stay informed or, more importantly, want to hear the different views on different subjects. Finally, I am considering doing more anime reviews or cartoon reviews or TV show reviews, primarily because there's a lot of weird stuff out there. There's definitely a lot of mecha anime out there I'd love to talk about, especially the lesser known series. And then there's weird cultural artifacts like the Battletech cartoon and that 80s D&D &D cartoon, things like that that I think would be fun as a discussion piece and possibly even an episode by episode breakdown if I really feel up to doing something crazy. If there are any movies, cartoons, anime you'd like my thoughts on, of course you can just toss that right down in the comments. As I've done with Battletech, where I've already covered a couple fan requests and have all the fan requests on a list, I will get to them when I can because that's the kind of person I am, I want to be able to cover what you, the audience, is interested in. Because from my point of view, I don't see doing these videos as content. I see these videos as entertainment. Well, maybe on the edutainment side of things, but I'm edutaining you about Battletech, Gundam, and other, you know, crazy giant robot worlds. As always, thank you for watching. And to all the new subscribers, thank you so much. I would have quit this channel if not for you. And I have so much gratitude for everyone who's actually come here. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. I hope you have a wonderful new year. And I hope your 2024 is amazing. Because you, you, all of you, deserve it. As I've said a few times in the video, if you have any requests, just... Let me know. Comments exist for a reason. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the tavern.